Zach Massey with Scott Murphy and Daniel, project manager for the Scott Home Recovery Project. Uh, as you can see behind me today is a historic day in the repair process at the museum. We have made our first concrete slab pour. So we had crews in here this morning at 4 a.m. to begin this pour and we'll have guys working all afternoon and into the evening hours getting this slab finished. I know everybody's seen the photos and things that we've had of the existing floor slab now. We have a true structural slab. It has grade beams in it. Um, it's heavily reinforced, those grade beams. It's basically like a bridge deck. If you drive underneath an underpass on the interstate and you look up at the bridge above you, you see the grade beams and the concrete in the bottom of that bridge deck. That's a, basically the exact same thing that we've built here. Um, obviously, we have the dirt underneath it, but if the dirt was not there, uh, basically that's what you'd look up and see. It's uh, one-way structural grade beams that are concrete heavily reinforced. We had bar sizes up to, I believe a number nine rebar was the biggest bar we had in it. Uh, that's a little bit over an inch in diameter bar. Uh, our intention is for this to be able to support the loads of the floor, bear on the micro piles and carry the weight of people and cars and various things that are gonna be in the museum. So completely different floor system than what was in here before. We've poured roughly half of the concrete slab in here. Uh, we put a control joint in the middle of the slab, construction joint, uh, at the advice of our structural engineer. So this is one of two pours. We poured roughly between 200 and 220 yards of concrete this morning. And we got guys laying to it on the finish work right now. And uh, we hope to make our second pour sometime in about three weeks. We still had to come to the other side here, excavate our grade beams, retile off a rebar, uh, remove the bridge that goes in and out of the building and make our second slab pour. As always, we appreciate you tuning in for our weekly update at the Corvette Museum and looking forward to see you guys next week.